What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And we've got a video on the Nexus player. Now most of our videos are recorded in 4K, 30 frames per second. But since I'm going to be recording in 1080p TV, I figured, hey, my camera does 1080p 60 frames per second. YouTube now allows 60 frames per second. Why not try 60 frames per second? That's why you didn't see an intro. <laughs> but uh, I want to give a quick little shout out to all of my Instagram followers. There are some of you out there that the moment I post a new picture, you guys instantly jump on it and I see your name over and over and over and over and over and over and over again so like I just did one on my camera and it's just all of you are like very quick to jump on my picture see look at that six new likes so thank you guys very much like you Jamie and lost in Hollywood who's pretty awesome I love my Mima a lot of these people I see all the time over and over and over again so please follow me on my Instagram that's Instagram and then search for what would Josh do or click the link in the description. If you're on the computer, you can follow me from there. So uh, let's get started. Let's let's do this. 60 frames per second. We're going to try this. I don't know how it's going to work out, but uh, here's the Nexus player. I've been using this thing for quite a while now. I uh, ever since I did the unboxing, I meant to do my video, you know, this video sooner. But we had a family emergency out of state. So I had to drive. If you watched my where you at Josh video, I explained all that. So I'm not going to repeat myself for all of you active you know people that watch all my videos and know what's going on so uh, we're gonna go ahead and hook this up to a tv here i'm gonna grab the hdmi cable and plug that in and we are not rooted at the time of this video there is no root method available uh chainfire is waiting on his to come in the mail so we can make a root method for it so at the moment we're just i mean i unlocked a bootloader and i did a video on how to do that but that's about it so i went ahead and plugged it in what you're going to need to do what I'm about to do in this video is one of these guys. I got a couple of these. Uh, make sure you don't get the one that's bent. I have one where it's bent at an angle, which most of the time it's fine because it kind of goes like that on your phone. But on here, if it's at an angle, you're going to hit your other things. So make sure you get one like this that's just, you know, uh, straight <laughs> and not, you know, like at an angle or crooked or something. But uh, these things are a dime a dozen. They're very, very cheap. I believe I paid like $5.99 and it was Amazon Prime, so I didn't have to pay for the shipping. They're not very expensive and I highly suggest you get a couple of them. Anyways, you can take it and you can plug it into the bottom of your phone. And then you can hook a flash drive into your phone here. And then uh, I use an app called Stick Mount. Pretty awesome. It is a root app and then it will let me browse the files on here. So let's go to... ES File Explorer, and we'll go to USB disk. This is Modi ROM. It actually supports this natively by default. So as you can see, here's all the files on here at the moment, and it's reading it from this thing right here. So you can use this on your phone. You can hook a USB keyboard. We're gonna demo that. A mouse. You can use a gaming controller, like an Xbox controller, or or so, you have even a PlayStation controller, and stuff like that. So. I'm going to I know we're a couple minutes into this already, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you now. I put the text up. It says this is going to be a longer video because some people are like, oh God, a 15 minute video. What am I going to do? Uh, there's no way I'm going to watch this. I say that because I want to make a disclaimer. So the jerks that are like that are like, they, they get put in their spot within 30 seconds of watching the video and they get told to leave. And anybody that, if they comment saying, hey, this is a super long video. There's no way in hell I'm going to watch this. Then I just told them leave now and if they don't leave then people are like uh apparently you didn't see the text he put on the screen but then i got some people that like my videos that enjoy the longer videos that got a little bit frustrated by that so if you don't like longer videos leave now we're like a few minutes into this and i'm telling you right now freaking just leave all right this is for the tech people out there that want to get this and want to know if this is worth getting so all right no more talking let's get started all right so we're gonna plug this into the bottom here just like this. Now, please keep in mind, by memory, the way this is, just make sure it's the flat side up, not this side. It's kind of like, you know, that. Just make sure it's the flat side. If it's dark, you can always tell because you'll feel that and you'll know the little, like, connectors, the little pins right there. There. So, anyways, plug it in like that. And then, I don't use the flash drive right away. I don't. I believe it was around 2012 when I did a video on this thing, and I'll link to that video in the description. But this thing's still kicking. It's still working. It may have been 2013, but I'm pretty sure it's 2012. This is a four port USB 2.0 hub. It's rated BC11. So that means you don't have to have it plugged into a computer and it will fully charge a device if it's not plugged into a computer. So 
this is actually one of those ones where you're, you can not even have the USB part plugged into it, and you can have four phones charging at a much faster rate than if you just use the USB port on your computer. So this one is powered. It doesn't have to be powered, but if you're going to be using like a, a USB device that draws power, then please get a powered hub. Uh, and again, I can link to this in the description. So I got this little anchor thing here. I did a video on this as well. This is a mouse that also, if, if I can get it over here, is a keyboard. So the keyboard and the mouse are all just off of this one little USB thing. So technically, I could just have this in here like this, and I don't need to have two, one for a mouse and one for a keyboard. I can just have this. But I'm going to plug this into the hub here, and then I'm going to plug the USB port in, and then I'm going to give this thing power. All right, it lights up blue when you give it power, and now I'm going to hook it up to the USB thing right here. And now look, we got a mouse, a keyboard, 32 gigs, uh, you could do 64 gigs or even higher using USB hard drive and etc. And then we have two more ports right here. So this is definitely like crazy. This is awesome. All right, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the camera to pick up the TV better. All right, so let's grab our mouse here and I'll go ahead and I have to raise this a little bit so you can see it. But see, we have a mouse and you can do... There are some things where it's like, okay, you, you do need to use the actual like controller here to navigate around it, but that's just for the home screen here. Once you go to uh, settings and then applications, then from here, once you launch an app like ES File Explorer, for example, and open that up, now we can use this like we would on any other Android tablet, phone, or even a computer. Now, unfortunately, my TV doesn't have like a just scan mode, like my LG does. So some of the stuff does get cut off. As you can see, the mouse goes off the screen. It's not a fault of the Nexus player. It's a fault of the TV. It's a cheap little LED TV that we got for our daughter. Uh, it For Blu-rays and movies and stuff like that, everything works fine. But when it comes to using it as an HDMI thing, it's just... And I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think there's a way to fix it. Again, on the LG TV in the living room, you can enable Just Scan, and it will fit everything in there perfectly. So... Please don't let it throw you off that this is how it's going to look on your TV because unless you have an insignia, it should work just fine. This is, again, just a little TV that we got from our daughter. We're going to go ahead and go to the local here. And I'm going to go ahead and unplug this and plug it back in because it's not actually showing up at the moment. And also something else I want to show you real quick is uh, in my bootloader unlock video, I showed you how to get into the bootloader. But I'm going to show you how to get into the recovery screen as well to do a factory reset if you're wanting to do that. So we held down the little power button like we did in my unlock bootloader video. It's going to take us this little screen. We're going to just quick tap to get to recovery and we're going to hold down and then let go to get into recovery mode. And once you're in recovery mode, it's at first you're not going to be able to do anything until you press a button. And now the faint little light on this thing is actually flashing. And it wasn't flashing earlier, so it should work now. Okay, you're going to see this screen. I think you need to hold it and then let go. Yes, you do. And then you just tap to get to the certain things. And then you long press and you let go and it does that command. So hopefully one day we'll get twerp for this thing or clockwork mod, any, any custom recovery. And then we can install custom ROMs on it. And possibly, since it's running an Intel processor, hopefully one day we'll see Ubuntu. That'd be pretty sick having a full-blown Ubuntu. I mean, if you think about it, this thing is a little computer. You've got a mouse and a keyboard. You've got USB flash drive. You can hook your phone into this, and you can root your phone from your Nexus player if it's running Ubuntu. And it's just, you know, it's like the possibilities are absolutely endless. Some more things I want to explain is to get ES File Explorer on here, you do need to use ADB. Hook your Nexus player up to your laptop like you would your phone on that micro USB port. And then ADB install ES File Explorer. You can download ES File Explorer from the developer's website, just the APK. Once you ADB sideload it on here, you just go to your settings, you go to your apps, and then you find ES File Explorer. Chrome, Kodi, XBMC, that's all stuff I got once I sideloaded this. Once you sideload ES File Explorer, 
everything else comes into play. You just need to do one thing. And I was having difficulty with my drivers. I will tell you what I did was I disabled driver verification where you do an advanced reboot and then like you choose one through nine on your keyboard or whatever. You press seven to disable driver signature verification. And I downloaded Universal Naked Drivers 073. He might update it later in the future to support this. And then I chose the Asus Transformer ADB. I know it was it was the wrong device, but now when I typed in ADB devices after letting those drivers install, it showed the serial number of the Nexus player and I was able to sideload ES Fall Explorer. So Universal Naked Drivers, choose the ADB Asus Transformer drivers for now until we get some actual drivers. If you're using Ubuntu, you don't even need the drivers for it. But okay, so for some reason under local, it's not showing that flash drive. I don't know what's going on here. See, before it was USB, it says failed to open. I don't know what's going on here. That's freaking weird. Let me go ahead and unplug it and then plug it back in. Okay, there we go. You see, it shows up on the right, left there, USB 005. Th that number was 2003. It was 2004. Now it's 2005. It always changes. So you just press on it. And it should ask you, do you want to use this? You do use by default and you press OK. It'll take you to your partition. I named mine 32 gigs. If you have like Kingston or something like that, it'll be that. I can tell you right now that playing a 1080p MKV for a TV show worked fine. A file that was under 2 gigs worked fine. And this is formatted in TFS, by the way. For those of you that are like, you know, what's your... What, how you formatted it that way i can have files larger than four gigs this is formatted in tfs so but anyways the mkv was 1080p and it was under two gigs and it played fine i posted an instagram video and i, I showed proof of that now when you try to watch a full movie that was several gigs uh, it would you would press on the file and xbmc would pop up and then crash so on my fire tv the same exact XBMC 13.2 Gotham, the not the x86 because the Fire TV uses an ARM processor, not an x86 Intel processor, which is what this uses. So with this one right here on my Fire TV, that same exact file that on here would open XBMC and then go back to this screen and wouldn't actually play the video, it would work fine. So uh, either XBMC needs to update and make sure you use this version right here on your Nexus player because you can, this isn't an ARM processor, it's Intel. So uh, once you get ES Wall Explorer loaded, all this that you transfer from your computer to your flash drive is fine. So like if we want to install uh, the Chrome browser, we just need to download APK. And I'll, I'll show you how to download APKs. You do need to go ahead and download the Chrome APK to here to get the web browser. Once you get the web browser on here, you can install everything you need to open up the apps and then go to Chrome and then download it and install it. So just press on it like you would on anything. And then this pops up and you hit install. And it's, I mean, it's, it's just like, it's, it's just like your phone or your tablet. So after I clicked on that and hit install, now it's showing up here as Cody. This is the latest version, uh, well, beta one. So uh, this is just, the, this is the test version. XBMC is now called <laughs> Cody. So don't, don't, don't get it twisted to the same exact things. We're gonna go ahead and end this. Uh, actually in the settings here, uh, settings and then video, uh, playback. I don't know what, how to fix it. <laughs> Someone said something about MX player, but I don't think that XBMC uses that to play videos. So I'm not quite sure about that. Oh, it says beta is available. So go to Cody.tv. Okay, cool. So. Let's open that Chrome browser and let's go to the APK website I was wanting to show you earlier. So we'll exit this out. And then once you download Chrome to your flash drive and you use ES Fox 4, you click install and you go to it. Now you've got a full blown thing on here and I can show you the keyboard. On here, you're just going to type XBMC or Cody. So XBMC and then... So we got that typed in. We didn't need to bring up an on-screen keyboard. You go to downloads here. And then you can download this one right here, X86 for 13.2 Gotham. Or if you want to be on Kodi, you can go here in Android beta 
we're going to do x86. Now, this, and then ES Downloader and hit just once. And now it's going to bring up this. And this is going to be the download manager that downloads it. So it's a very quick process depending on internet speed. I have very, very fast internet, so it doesn't take long at all. As you can see, I have version beta uh, 1 installed. Now I'm going to be in doing 2. So this is actually a really good demonstration. This is a live demonstration. Now, that MKV I was having trouble with, now that it's updated to beta 2, that might have fixed whatever was causing it to crash as soon as you tried to play the movie. Again, the TV show worked fine. It was under 2 gigs, but the movie that was like 8 gigs, I think, it wasn't working. But now that it updated to beta 2, it should work fine. So, you see how easy that is? You just, once you get Chrome on there, you have the internet at your fingertips and you can just download everything from here without even using a computer. So, I'm going to go ahead and exit that. And now we're going to go to Big Buck Bunny. Oh, 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 I need to show you the APK thing. Here's the on-screen thing if you want to go ahead and use it. It's called APK Mirrors. And then you just click on it and it should... Bring up the website. So this is the website right here, apkmirror.com. And this is where you can download the latest stuff. Like we could click on this right here and download the latest Amazon Music APK. We'll hit download. And then again, ES File Explorer. And you don't have to use the X File Explorer. It's just a download manager. And since you don't have notifications, well, at, like you do on your phone or your tablet, this is a way to quickly open the file once you do it so we're going to go ahead and install this this website is pretty awesome as you can see today is the 12th this was just posted today this is a rather new website that i've found out about through android police because they always post the latest google play store stuff and it's like the to download it so you could sign into your thing here let me go ahead and do that to see if this works or not all right looks like it signed me in and uh, I can explore Prime Music. I'll go to this one right here, and we'll just hit the little play button. All right, the microphone's face towards my mouth and not towards there. It's it's like kind of like a shotgun mic, so you're not going to hear that very loud. But it played, as you can see, it works. And this is a, this is just a website you should definitely bookmark and check out. So like. Uh, the latest, all the latest Google apps, like the Play Store, Gmail, all these things are up here, and you can just download them, like Maps and stuff, and they don't just do that, they also do like Twitter, or Amazon, you got Amazon Music, the App Store, you've got Facebook apps, you've got all these different things, so this is one of a good site to download APKs onto your Nexus player, and also Chrome is on here as well. See, so here's Chrome. We're going to go ahead and click on the little thing right here, and we're going to download the latest version of Chrome. Uh, looks like it updated on October 27th. So, actually, I believe we have the latest version. So, uh, 2125 and then 114. So, we go back to our settings here, and we can go to the apps and then the downloaded. Yeah, so we have the latest version right now, so we don't need to go ahead and install that, but that's how you do it. Once you get that on there, everything else you can do from here. You don't need a computer to do anything. So let's go ahead and get to the meat of the show here. Let's go ahead and open up ES File Explorer, and let's see if we can play a file. Let's go to the USB here, and 32 gigs, and we'll click on the 1080p 30 frames per second, and I'm going to go ahead and make Cody the default player. So we'll look. We'll see if this works here. This, It works. Look at that. It freaking works. 1080p. And what's nice about XBMC is I haven't found a media player like this that pulls subtitles from the cloud. You don't even have to download them. It just pulls them from the freaking cloud. So, I mean, it's playing in 30 frames per second. We're going to go ahead and load a tint, the 60 frames per second one. Go ahead and close this out. Let's like let's play the 60 frames per second and see how that works on here. I'm also recording this video in 60 frames per second, and YouTube should let you play it back in 60 frames per second. Actually, you can download something called Fraps, and if you have Chrome in full screen, uh, and also you need to use Chrome at the moment to do 60 frames per second, it'll give you a little counter. So wow, that looks absolutely beautiful on here.
That looks very, very nice. It's playing back fluidly without any lag at all. We can go ahead and skip to a later scene. It just quickly jumped right to it. We are using a very fast drive. I actually highly recommend this Patriot Rage XT. This is the 32. They have an 8, a 16, a 32, and a 64. And they, uh, you get like 25 megabytes per second read and 25 megabits per, megabytes per second write. So it's actually the fastest USB 2.0 flash drive I've ever used. I really enjoy this and I want several more of these actually. They're a little bit harder to get now. They're more expensive than before. But they're very much worth it. Okay, so we also did download a 4K one just to test it out and see how well it works. I don't expect it to play at all. So you got 2160p, 30 frames per second. Let's see if this even loads it. Looks like it is. It is loading it. It's 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 stuttering. It's definitely stuttering. Okay, so don't try a 4K thing. This is not even a 4K TV. So it's not like it would even be in load in 4K once it did it. So, and just for giggles, just for giggles, I have a 4K 60 frames per second, and that I don't even think will try to load at all. That's not stuttering right there. So let's so let's skip ahead. That's that's not too bad. That's that's not too bad. Again, this is a 1080p screen, so. And I don't even think that this Nexus player supports 4K. So it's not like it's a fault of the Nexus player. I wanted to just test it out and see for myself if it would play it or not. So you've seen ES Fox War. That's the only thing you have to do on your computer. ADB side load, ADB install, ES Fox War, download it from the website, put the ABK in your platform tools, ADB install it. And once you get that installed, you also need to go ahead and download the Chrome APK from on your computer, on your computer, and then transfer it to the flash drive. Once you see USB and then some numbers here, then you can go here, click on the latest Chrome, install it, open the Chrome app up, and do all of your other downloading and installing from there. So it's actually pretty freaking awesome. And also, I have all my APKs in here so I can download like, um, uh, hey, let's just do this for giggles. This is Flappy Bird. I, I just, I just want to try this. There are some apps that people are reporting when they sideload it, it doesn't work. So, <laughs> oh my word, are you serious? Let's go ahead and play that. You gotta tap, right? So, here we go. This is insane. If you thought Flappy Bird was hard before, you should try this. Uh, let's get over the play button. Ah, it's, it's, it's all backwards on the mouse because it's, I gotta... Oh my, oh my goodness. All right, so we'll tap. Let's see if we can get a better score. No, not even one. Oh my goodness. Oh. All right, I know this video is pretty long, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it soon, but as you can see, XBMC AKA Cody works fine on here, and I suck at playing Flappy Bird. Especially when it's on, like, this, where it's not straight up and down. <laughs> oh my goodness. One more time, one more time. Okay. Oh, okay, that's it, I'm done. I'm done. We just go ahead and go home on the controller here. And, alright, so here, this is all the APKs. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious if uh, Tal Root will root this thing. I highly doubt it since it's an Intel processor. But, just for giggles, nope, nothing, nada. Okay, so, yeah, tell that's not, it's obviously not going to work. And I guess one more thing I'll go ahead and show you before I get out of here is Chainfire has an app that you can download. Uh, you can go to the link on the computer or you should be able to pull it up from here. But if you go all the way over here, you're going to see, oh, Cody's showing up there. That's kind of cool. So you don't have to go through your settings and apps and download it to get to it. It's just showing up right there. So... If this little icon right here, if we press on it, it's going to be a quick little way besides going to your downloaded to get to all the apps you've installed. So we can use the mouse to like click down, hold and go around and stuff. So now we can quickly launch anything like uh, ES Fox Explorer and go right to it. And check that out. That's pretty freaking awesome. I'm definitely liking this. This is, this is a great buy. 
$99, it is a great buy. Now, I guess the only thing is, is the Fire TV is still an ARM processor. It has two gigs of RAM instead of the one gig of RAM this thing has. And it'll play a 1080p MKV movie that's several, several gigs, and it plays fine. Uh, uh, this is beta 2. It has updated since it failed. I don't have that video on me, and I don't want to get copyright strikes. So I'm not going to try it, but uh, it, it might try. It might work now, but if it doesn't, I mean, the Fire TV is still, that's a hard one. The Fire TV can't even be rooted at the moment. If you buy a Fire TV that has been updated or you update it without rooting it first, you're you're never going to get root at the moment. Geohot now works for Google. That whole tell root thing, he works for Google now to prevent that stuff from happening. Hell, if I made a root method and then Google's like, hey, uh, I'll hire you and you'll make $40 an hour to you know, try to find cra uh, exploits in Android and we'll pay you. And if you get, you get a bonus every time you find an exploit. You know, like, hell yeah, who wouldn't take that job? So um, you can't be mad at him. So this thing, you can unlock the boot order. Once Chainfire gets his and comes up with CF Auto Root, you can easily root it. If you're a def if you're someone like me that likes to take things and use them to their full potential, get the Nexus player, not the Fire TV. Uh, the my Fire TV got I got it the day it came out, so I have root. I have an unlocked bootloader. Well, you have to have root in order to unlock the bootloader, and I have a custom recovery installed, so I don't have to worry about anything. My my Fire TV is freaking it's hot. It is hot. But yeah, this is definitely something to get. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to love it. I highly recommend getting it. Here's just a little, you know, thing of what you weren't seeing it because it was hooked up to the, t you know, the camera was adjusted. But uh, so there you go. Definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth the $99 price tag. And since it's running a later version of Android, since we're going to get root, since the bootloader is unlockable the day you get it, no matter what update comes out in the future, it is a nexus. You never have to worry about any updates screwing up root access. It's beautiful. I freaking love it. Definitely get this thing. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Please, if you're not following my social media, do it. If you enjoy my content, in the description, there's links to follow me on Twitter, which I'm the most active on, and there's also my other social media accounts as well. So if you want to stay up to date with me and know what videos I'm working on, what videos are coming out next, when a video is fixing to go live and you're fixing to be able to watch it, like, seriously, <laughs> please follow me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here to get notified when I post future videos. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.